Hello, welcome and thank you for joining me. I'm going to show you how to process stale cassava for the purpose of making fufu. By stale, I mean cassava that is not freshly farmed. And because they are not very fresh, they don't ferment easily when you soak them. I will explain more as we go along. This is my stale cassava. I will peel and cut them. Then I will soak them in cold water. I have added a little spoon of baking soda to help hasten the fermentation. Remember that one of the process of detoxifying the excess cyanide in the cassava is by soaking. So this is a very healthy process. I will leave it in the water for 6 days because the weather is quite cold. So it will take longer to ferment. This is mint leaves and basil leaves. These are aromatic herbs with strong aroma. I will soak them with the cassava. One reason many people run away from soaking their cassava for fermentation is because of the smell that the cassava ends up with. These aromatic herbs will prevent the cassava from having any, any strong unpleasant smell at the end of the six days in the water. After the soaking for six days, the cassava has fermented but the cassava is not very soft because it is still cassava. It is an old cassava, it's not very fresh. It would have been much softer if the cassava was fresh. So I will cut them into pieces and blend them into smooth paste. And then I will pour the paste in my muslin bag to drain out the excess water, leaving the cassava. I'll be making fufu with some of the processed cassava and I will store the rest in my freezer for another day. I will dissolve the cassava in the pot and add a little water to get a good consistency. I will not put too much water at this point because I will still add more water later to cook it when it thickens. Put 
put the pot on the heat and keep turning it with a flat end spatula to avoid the lumps. Keep mixing it until the cassava thickens and forms into fufu. Cassava has poisonous substance called cyanide. It is highly recommended that you process your cassava very well before consuming it. It is processed by soaking, drying, cooking to detoxify the poisonous substance. Using this my method, the cassava is healthier, you eat it with rest of mind. Also, this method will make the cassava not, not to be overly stretchy that you find it difficult cutting into the fufu with your fingers or cutlery. When the fufu is fully thickened, add some water at the bottom of the pot. Cover the pot and cook it until it's totally done. Mine took about 10 minutes to done. When it is done, mix it thoroughly and serve with any soup of your choice. It is very smooth and easy to swallow. It is not overly stretchy that you will find it difficult to mold. And above all, it is healthy because it was well processed. And it doesn't have any strong smell. I want to thank all my returning and new subscribers. Thank you so much for the encouragement you give me by subscribing to my channel and putting on that notification bell. I will see you soon in my next video. Bye.